Ideal weather, no complaints on that front here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Arsenal versus Kerala Blasters. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Number 34, Granit Xhaka. Number 7, Bakayo Saka. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10, and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Thank you, Emirates Stadium. Enjoy the game. And so the match is underway. Clean challenge. Bukayo Saka. Oh, that's an interesting pass. It comes to nothing in the end. Ben White, teammates available, Marcinelli, and on to Xhaka, that's a great stop, well his reflexes are so good there, that's a fantastic stop. And he's fired over the corner. The clearance wasn't decisive. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. And he's in. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Martinelli Luna and a tidy tackle Martin Odegaard now Zinchenko Trossard and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And support available. Tremendous block. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. 
but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end well no let up plenty of pressure Diamantakos no potential danger real chance and a goalkeeper on top of his game well it's great goalkeeping what a big save that is Delivering it. Well, it still could be dangerous. Let's fly here. Superb block. And he takes on the shot. Oh, covering up defensively. Flag raised for offside. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Granit Xhaka. Now in possession, Trossard. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. Elects to go short. Just the challenge that was required. Well, there it is. The away side haven't had as much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. It's really good without the ball, and the all-around performance levels have been high. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. <laughs> Who can they pick out? Well, a bit short with the clearance. Danger averted for now. And there it is, the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here in North London. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. He just hasn't been able to affect the game so far. He hasn't had too much of the ball, but even when he has, he's not looked threatening. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, Interesting to see how the second half pans out. Well, far from the ideal pass. Opportunity to deliver the cross. High quality defending. Advantage, Arsenal. Martin Odegaard. And a bad pass it was. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Time for a change then. And number 19, Leandro Trossard. Coming onto the pitch, number 20, Jorginho. And number 9, Gabriel Jesus. Firing it towards goal! Well, not enough subtlety about that free kick, I'm afraid. Good 
tackle, take it away. Opportunity in the wide area. Now just the tackle that was needed. Bukayo Saka. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. An incisive pass. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Just had to look a bit lively given the pressure. And possibilities here. And played in. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, here it is again. And having got a touch on it, he'll be a little bit disappointed he didn't keep it out. It was a good effort, though. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. White. On to Jorginho. And promising stuff from Arsenal. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Really good challenge. Chance here, and the ball is loose. Well, no damage done. So on the cusp of the final whistle, and the visitors very much in command, Stuart. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They oh, good save. Excellent header. And with play having stopped, a chance for the referee to go back and hand out the caution. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Corner kick forthcoming. Trying to deliver it accurately. Just cutting off the supply. Smith Rowe. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. The final whistle, and the Gunners go down. They've lost this game. No points picked up. What did you think of it? Well, Derek, today just wasn't good enough. They lacked a cutting edge, they played too slowly, and they made many mistakes at the back. It was really disappointing. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him.